Hi everybody, this is Liz from LuLaRoe Liz Bobus, and I'm here to show you a little bit on how I like to style the Carly dress. The Carly dress is a new dress from LuLaRoe, it just came out at convention of 2016, and some things that you should know about the Carly dress is it's almost like a extra long perfect tee with an Irma style base. So you're going to see it has the same type of top except it has a cute little fitted pocket and then it's longer in the back by quite a bit. Um, it also is a dress you'll normally size down in. So I normally wear between an extra large and a 2XL although I like a small perfect tee and an extra large classic tee unless I'm wearing it with leggings then I'll wear a 2XL classic. For this, this is the one that I received for a convention. It is a large. I could size down, if you see from all of this, I could size down to a medium. And I most likely will when I get my stock of them in this week. So I wanted to show you all, before we had the opportunity to get them into the house to sell to you, different ways that I think are really cool to style the Carly dress. Um, the Carly dress is really versatile and I don't think that people realize that so many of our pieces with LuLaRoe are so versatile. The first thing that I would like to show you is the fact that I'm wearing it with a cuff. It's a whole lot of a single color. A cuff will bring a whole different look to your arm. It's also going to kind of change up the way that it looks overall. Secondly, I'm going to show you um, some accessories to use with it and different ways to tie it up and change the overall shape and look to give you a different look with your Carly dress. So give me just one moment and let me grab my stuff and we'll keep on trucking and I'll show you some great ways to use it. Okay. The first thing I'm going to show you is this. For those of you that don't know what this is, I give them out with all of my leggings. This is flat elastic tied together. I like using them as ponytail holders because they don't create that hard kink in your hair instead of gives a softer wave. It's a little bit nicer and more forgiving on your, on your uh, hair. So below this, I'm wearing a cute little pair of, uh, I like to call them the chub rub pants. But you can see they're just a little pair of like booty style shorts. That way you aren't seeing all my goods. Might want to see them. Not going to see them. Um, we sell modest clothing and I like to kind of keep that air. That's important to me with LuLaRoe. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is some neat ways to play with the hemline. The hemline is longer on the Carly dress, especially in the back, and it's really cute, but it's also really nice to give yourself a different waist and a different hem. And we're going to use the ponytail holder for some of that. For the first one, we won't show the, um, the ponytail holder. Instead, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to take the side, I'm going to pull it up, so here's my hem. I'm going to go in just a little bit. I'm going to pull it. And I'm going to knot it. And I'm going to knot it, but I'm going to keep this knot without having a huge ball to, or without a huge stick out to it. Notice I tucked it back in. And it just kind of gives me a little swoop. It's just a different way to wear it, but it gives you a little bit of a different track. It shows a little bit of knee. Hey, <laughs> and it makes it a little bit more fun. You can also take it, bring it more together and make a bigger knot. And then you can leave it out like that. This would be really cute if you're wearing a pair of leggings. Like I would do this with a pair of black leggings. My favorite ways to wear it though are with the ponytail holder. By using a ponytail holder, you can change the waistline. So if you like the fit, but you're uncomfortable with your stomach, this is a great way to play with the Carly. So the first way that I like to do it is to take, I find the smallest part of my waist. I drop down just a little bit to my natural waist where it gets just a little bigger. And I pull straight down from here. And I go around it. So this you would want to use something that's in the same color as your Carly. So right now I have this. That's not very attractive. 
but you can take it and puff it out into a cute rosette or a cute circle. And look at how cute this is. It gives a different look. It gives you some ruching across your belly. You can make it look a little bit or a little bit less, a little bit more or less like a rose, but it's a cute way to wear it. You can add on some accessories and dress her up and you're ready to go. It's just a cute and different way to wear your Carly. So all I did, if you look, it's just the ponytail holder there. And then I kind of smushed it out. It's kind of like a rosy type shape. You'd also get a really cute pin and put the pin right on top of here. If you're going to do that, I'm really going to highly suggest that you use a magnetic pin because I'm the last person in the world that's ever going to tell you to stick a pin through your LuLaRoe. It's one of the worst things you can do for your fabric. The next thing that you can do, quite a bit like this, but a little bit different, is if you take the ponytail holder and you do this on the inside. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to back up so I can show you where I'm going to do it, and I'm going to move forward more so you don't see all my goods. <laughs> so I'm going to take that same type of area, except this time I want it to be at the small of my waist. And I'm going to create a ruche across my body to that point where it's going to go in. So here's where I want it to be at. So now I'm going to step forward and I'm going to reach underneath. And you'll be able to see what I'm doing here. I'm going to take this here and I want it to still be at that small of my back, or I'm sorry, smallest part of my waist. And then I'm going to flip. Ooh, I have a little something on my dress. Okay, well, we'll ignore that. <laughs> and I want it to be. here. There we go. So when I step back, you can see it gives me that cute little lift. It creates a full ruche and I can kind of adjust and play with how I want this to rise and how I want this to change. And so from the side, it's real cute too because it still gives me that ruche. It's kind of like a Roman drop. It's just adorable ruching. Next, I'm going to pull out the ponytail. And you can do the same thing to the small of your back. If you feel like your dress is way oversized and you want to make the waist smaller, you would go from behind, find the small of your back or the middle of your back, and you're going to reach in and do the ponytail trick there. If you do the ponytail trick there, just know that it is for sure going to be tighter. It's for sure going to be tighter around your waist and it's gonna drop a little bit differently. Depending upon how tight you make it, you might end up wanting to wear some Spanx or just go as you are because you're beautiful. So, And this will also bring up the height of the back. So just so you are aware of that. Now, I am not doing a good job of tucking this, but so you can kind of see on the front, it's way more fitted. This is more fitted like a Julia would be. But then when I turn, I've got this cute thing there and it's kind of raised and lifted. So I would do it just a little bit less so it's about even all the way around. But it'll kind of give you like a swingy tail of cuteness. <laughs> um, for those of you that know me, you know my love for uh, the Joy. The Joy is one of our new lace vests. It is so pretty. Um, they're a limited time in the lace. I think what I'm, my understanding is if they sell really well, then we might look into carrying them in other fabrics for, that are appropriate for different seasons. So just so you guys see, there are some really cute things that you can do in terms of the Joy. So I might take the Joy and throw on a complimentary color. I want to make sure that I'm not catching it on stuff. Yikes. Don't want to catch it. So I'm going to throw it on over this. And it's really cute overall. Just if you see, it's just kind of fun and swingy. I could take this front piece and tie it. So it's cute, just kind of tied. I did see someone wear theirs backwards and then they had a V shape. There's a bunch of things you can do with the Joy to make it cute, but I really enjoy and like wearing the Joy. I think it's fun, it gives it a little bit of life, it gives it some color. Um, even though my dress is purple, it gives a lot of look to it. The other thing that I've been seeing people do is belt. 
whether you're using a skinny belt or a bigger belt, it's a great way to wear your curly. So I can throw on a belt. I want the belt at the skinniest part of my waist. So wherever that might be. It's adorable belted on its own or I can belt and blouse. And belted and bloused is really cute. Just gives a little bit of look. It's a little boho, it's a little chic, it's a little comfy. Um, I can also belt it with a thick belt. So if I grab a thicker belt, then I'll pop on the thicker belt. Once again, you want it at the smaller part of your waist. And you can just wear it like this. It makes it look different. You can style it up from there. Say so you want to throw on a cute hat. Add a necklace. And you have a really cute outfit. Now let's say that I want one more way to wear it and I have something that I really love in my closet that I wasn't sure how to wear. And people aren't always sure of this and they don't realize that you can do this. But there is nothing wrong with taking a dress and adding another layer of clothing over your dress. For this, I have a large perfect tee to give me a little bit of length. I'm going to put this perfect tee over the joy because their shapes are relatively the same, or not the joy, I'm sorry, over the carly. The biggest difference is the shape is a little bit different, but you can see it kind of flows with it. And then when it bends, it'll kind of bend with it too. And I'm going to belt this. So when I belt it, I could belt it and blouse it. And how cute is this? It looks a little bit different. It's not something that anyone else has seen. And then you can dress it up like that. You could also belt it once again with one of the thicker belts. Just know that your thicker belt will look a little bit different. And that's okay. You can also mix up the style of hat. You could mix up um, the style of necklace. I know for this I had brought out a couple different types of necklaces I did bring with another type of hat just to have another type of hat with so if I do another type of hat maybe I'll do a fedora with it because the fedora is kind of fun it's a little bit different you can add a large necklace you could do a small necklace so if I were going out today in my Carly I would choose so here's my outfit for today I like my perfect tee but I would personally rather show all my cute purple and really it's adorable on its own. But I'm going to do the little poof on the corner. So I have my cute poof on the corner, and I'm going to throw on my really cute mint joy. So I have my poof, I've got my mint joy that's just kind of hanging and chilling. I'm going to wear my teal necklace because I love how purple plays off of teal and then the teal looks great with this mint color. And then I'm going to wear my favorite little brimmed hat. And I'll wear it slightly to the back and let my hair fall on the front. I'm wearing gladiator sandals. And you can play with your sunglasses. So I might wear these just because they're a little different. And don't be afraid to pick out different sunglasses when you're trying on different clothing items. Because you want to mix it up. You want to give them a little like, whoa. That's kind of cool. So there we go. It's a cute outfit. I could wear this just about anywhere. I could wear it out to lunch, out to breakfast. I could wear it to drop my kids off to school. It took me just a few minutes to put it together. And gosh, tell me that this isn't so cute and that you wouldn't love to wear this. 
I will have the Carly coming up this upcoming week. And I would love if you are not currently part of my group to join my group, which is LuLaRoe Liz Bobus. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me on Instagram and Periscope. I do Periscope sales and box openings. And I also book parties out of my home, out of um, other people's homes. I do fundraisers and I do online. So I will see you soon. Have a beautiful